A Belvedere church is the site of vandalism that used racial slurs and a Nazi symbol. I spoke with the pastor and residents who hope the community ignores this divisive act and unites it instead. Uh, it's completely appalling that somebody would do something like that. Belvedere resident Jack Clem is referring to the derogatory vandalism on the Zion Lutheran Church in Belvedere. It's always shocking. You don't want to see anything like that anywhere, not just on a church building, but on any building in a community. Pastor Scott Stolberg believes the vandals struck overnight. The church's daycare director notified the church's property manager first thing in the morning. You should probably come here to the church and, and take a look at what's uh, on the building. So Mike saw it and immediately uh, started to take care of it. Now the church sits with mismatched shades of yellow, covering up what used to be a visible swastika and a racist term against African Americans. This will probably prompt us to do something on the front side of the church. Like putting up surveillance cameras. They already have some installed in the back of the church due to prior, less offensive incidents of vandalism. Obviously negatively, negatively affect community, but hopefully that, you know, they, you know, not everybody is like that and don't, you know, look negatively on the community. Clem heard about what happened from his 14-year-old daughter and says he hopes the community can learn from the situation and come together. Yeah, she knows, I mean, she knows it's wrong and that you know, something like that isn't right. I hope people rally together to say, you know, this isn't, you know, this isn't something that's okay. The church holds a community meal every second Wednesday of the month at 5. Tomorrow, Pastor Stolberg invites everyone, including those outside of the congregation, to join. He hopes to have positive discussion about the incident.